As we grew the business, uh, the internet evolved. We got a website. We learned how to put stuff on eBay. We learned how to, oh, we'd, we'd listen to people's objections. Well, why should I, you took pictures of this bike. How do I know it's good? You know, how can we trust you? There, was, there wasn't that confidence that there is today in doing business on the internet. So YouTube came along and I thought, well, let's just start the motor and let them hear it run and walk around it, talk about it. We started doing these videos and we've been doing those for, gosh, ever since YouTube's been around. That opened the doors for people to build confidence. They could see it running, it's not smoking. Uh, the paint looks good, it's shiny, the tires have tread. from running a paper route and buying motorcycles out of the paper and spray painting them and cleaning them up and selling them to having a 42,000 square foot building with 400 made ready motorcycles in it. Uh, really quite the accomplishment and something I'm really proud to say I've been a part of and, and proud of my dad for you know, taking it from the dirt trails in Pasadena, California to what it is today. A tremendous accomplishment and it's a testament to, to two real things. One, a, a laser focus on what it is that he does and what it is that the business does. And number two is his integrity. And that's something my dad's, from day one, it's always been really important. You're always up front, you're always honest. And that's a theme that runs throughout our company from you know, his office all the way to the guy we just hired yesterday. Hi, my name is Joe. I'm with American Motorcycle Trading Company. I run service and parts here. And I'd like to tell you guys a little about myself. Uh, my first memory of riding on my first Harley was probably when I was about six or seven years old, sitting on the gas tank, going down a little side street with my dad on his 1969 electric line. Um, as time passed when he did pass away and I decided that the Harley industry is what I wanted to go into. I was 19 years old and moved to Phoenix, Arizona to put myself through school. Um, and it was kind of my attachment of holding on to my dad through my memory. Being in this industry, I do have a passion for it. So it's not just something I grew up around. My name's Jake, I'm the general sales manager. Um, I've been here since 2018 and I absolutely love motorcycles. I was in the industry for about 15 years before I joined American Motorcycle Trading Company. I knew a lot about them. They've been in the DFW market for a long time, 20 some odd years. Um, they were the best of the best at selling pre-owned bikes. Their bikes were cleaner than everyone else's. The website was beautiful. The photos were good, detailed. Uh, one of my favorite things about you know, researching this particular dealership was the, um, how transparent um, they were when they were presenting their motorcycles to customers. You know, maybe it has a, a minor blemish here or there, and just not being afraid to show the customer, hey, this is what you're getting, and by the way, it's been serviced, it's detailed, it runs great. Um, they were better than everyone else, and I wanted to be part of that team. Uh, when the opportunity came about, I was fortunate enough to, to come on board here and I've been loving it ever since. Uh, I'm Boyd. Uh, I'm the sales manager here at American Motorcycle. Uh, I, I guess I wasn't really even looking for a job when I found this one, uh, but I'm, I'm a mo lifelong motorcycle enthusiast. Um, had um, Harleys, Hondas, Husqvarna's, uh, Suzuki's, Yamaha's, and I, I'm currently on my fifth BMW. Um, I just, there's something about motorcycles that do something to me. And I can't, if, if you're a motorcycle enthusiast, you know what I'm talking about. Um, if you're not a motorcycle enthusiast, I can't explain it to you. So when you call here and you're looking for a specific bike, um, rest assured you're getting the best value in the country. And a lot of our customers are shocked, you know, because it sounds like a generic, you know, line that a salesperson or a dealership gives you, oh, it's the best value and the best deal. Um, 
ours really are. But we're very transparent. Um, if you call on a motorcycle, we'll sit down with you and walk you through it over the phone. Or if you're here in person, we'll show you the market. We don't have anything to hide. And frankly, if we find you know, that our motorcycle isn't priced uh, correctly in the market, we're going to make it right, or we're going to find you a motorcycle that is. Yeah. Uh, we want you to leave here not only with the best motorcycle um, for you that fits what you're looking to do, that is safe, uh, detailed, you know, ready to ride so you don't have to put any additional money into it, um, you're going to find a, a great deal on that bike as well. One of my favorite things about American Motorcycle Trading Company is that we have customers located all over the world. And as much as we would like to meet all of you in person, to show off our showroom, see this beautiful building and meet all of our employees, we simply can't. So shipping is something we do on a daily basis. Uh, we've met a lot of transporters over the years and we've settled with haul bikes for several reasons. Number one, they use motorcycle enthusiasts to ship our customers' motorcycles. They know how to ride the different types of bikes. They know how to transport them. They do them in enclosed carrier. They have the proper tools to secure them down properly. Uh, it's a specialized process. You don't want someone who's shipping a refrigerator and a washer and dryer to also have your bike in the same trailer. We're trying to give our customers the same level of presentation on their motorcycle that they would get if they were here in person so that the product you spent all your time researching online, calling and inquiring about, finding your dream bike, it shows up in your driveway exactly like it was presented online. So here at American Motorcycle Trading Company, when we first get a bike in, whether we purchase it or it's a trade-in, it all starts right here. Uh, our guy gets out here, photographs them. So you'll notice some of these bikes have red tags on it. Basically, it just signifies of what technician's working on it. So everything that has a red tag back in this area is bikes that we're getting ready to sell. A lot of these bikes that are back here, they're either waiting on parts, waiting on paint, or just waiting on the technician to, to be able to get back on the bike. And as we walk through here, you'll see some bikes that have some yellow tags, and that's just signifies it's a customer bike. Uh, because our inventory is so large, and we do outside work as well, so we have to kind of color coordinate things around here. That makes it a lot easier for us. Uh, you'll see a section over here that's all strictly uh, sold units, waiting on a customer to show up, waiting on a shipper to show up. We ship all over the world. Nothing gets stored outside. Uh, back here, we have a full detail shop. Every bike that we run through the shop, it gets ready for sold, we'll get a full detail. These guys do a real thorough job. They do a hand wash, they wax, they buff, pull the saddle bag that they have to. Uh, really, really good crew. That's the, our process as it comes through the service department on the detail. And then after that leaves here, then they'll go to our photo bay. We'll take pictures of the bike, get them put on the internet, and then they'll go onto the floor and ready for the customer to come see them. In 1996, when the dealership was founded, we were focused on selling the cleanest used motorcycles we could find. Fast forward to today, that's still our central focus. What's changed is our attention to detail. Now we're more focused on everything from the buying side to the make ready side to the sales side, making sure all the little things are just right for you, the customer. If we talk about the buying side, we run all of our motorcycles through a VIN Smart report. A VIN Smart report is very similar to a Carfax but it's specific for motorcycles. It's gonna pull up things like odometer issues, theft, fire, insurance claims. If any of those red flags show up on that VinSmart report, we're not gonna offer that motorcycle for sale. So if we talk a little bit more about those fine details, in talking about the make ready process, Big Joe's been doing this for a long time. And you know, from time to time, we discuss different things that we need to focus on. Most recently, we've shifted our focus to the small things in the make ready process. Little things like making sure the clock time is set correctly, making sure the headlight is adjusted properly, making sure the motorcycle has fuel in it when you come to pick it up. All those little things may sound trivial, but if you come to pick your bike up and it's out of fuel, that's not a good thing. Taking the time to take a step back and focus on those small details ends up delivering a superior buying experience for you, the customer, and that's the most important way we differentiate ourselves. 
So all of the details matter from the buying side to the make ready side to the sales side to the shipping side. And because we've been in business so long, we've had an opportunity to really drill down and get all of those details right. And that's ultimately what we're after.